I'm not angry. I'm just hurt that you're ignoring me. I'm not ignoring you. We've gone from talking every second day to not talking. Ever since we kissed, you've been cold. I'm not cold, it's all in your head. No, it's not. You're making my recovery worse. What? I didn't know that you were in rehab. Say sorry. Patrick, say that you're sorry. Patrick, say that you're sorry. I want to stay friends with you, but not if it's this hard. Apologize to me. What are you doing? You're pushing me to go off script. Dave, that's the point. No, the point of this is for us to reenact your last argument with Patrick and for you to say the things you wish you'd said. It was in the contract that you signed. Sally, you can say whatever you like. My job is to repeat what Patrick said during the argument. I'm not, I'm not angry. I'm just, I'm hurt that you're ignoring me. I'm not ignoring you. Ever since we kissed, you've been cold. I'm not cold. It's all in your head. You're making my recovery worse. I'm sorry. I, I want to stay friends with you, but not if it's this hard. Dave, what's the big deal? It's just two words. I'm sorry. Sally, I can't. Why not? Because I could lose my job. No one's here. They won't know. Headquarters tap our phones sometimes without telling us. If I go off script and get caught, I'll get fired. And I can't afford to lose my job because I have newborn twins at home. Congratulations. Thanks. I wish I could, Sally. I know, and you're right. I just... Want him to apologize. Yeah. Did you want to finish the argument? May as well. Should we go from uh, recovery? Sure. You're making my recovery worse. Look, I didn't know that you were in rehab. I'm sorry that you are going through a rough time, but telling me that I'm making your recovery worse is cruel. I care about you and I want you to recover quickly. Don't blame me. It's unfair and I don't deserve it, Patrick. I want to stay friends with you, but not if it's this hard. That's an awful thing to say. Great job. <sighs> Thanks, Dave. Feel better? Yep. Glad I could help. Hey, you mind if I use your bathroom before I go? Oh, yeah, go for it. Dave. <laughs> Pleasure. By the way, I didn't put the toilet seat down. Oh, okay. No worries. Bye. Bye. I'm sorry. Thanks. Hey, my name is Holly Hargraves. I'm the writer, director, editor of Not You, and this is Behind the Scenes. Story and script. You know when you have an argument with someone, but you may not say the things you actually want to say, and then afterwards you replay the argument in your head a million times, and in your head you say the things that you wanted to say, but the person will never hear it, so then you'll never get closure. So I thought, imagine if there was a company where they hired that actors where you could reenact the fight and actually say the things you want to say, and hopefully get closure. So yeah, so that's where the story and idea came from. Production. Yep, sure. Blah, 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 blah.
<laughs> so Kit Hudson shot this and he has shot my other short films, Timing and Knock Knock. Both of those short films are linked in the description below if you want to check them out. So with the cast, Maddie's been in a couple of my short films, Burn and Busting. I love working with her. She's such a delight to have on set. I just hurt that you're ignoring me. Not ignoring too casual, Mads, too casual. Sorry. You're a last actor, are you? Sunny and I have never worked together before, but we're in the same acting circles and I've always wanted to work with him, so I'm pumped that he was available. And Sunny actually suggested Mark for the role of the real Patrick, and I'm so glad that he did. And thank you to Laurie and Anna for buying me a coffee. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, just go to the link in my description. There you can buy me a coffee for two, three, or five dollars. And if you do, I will shout you out in my next short film to say thank you. All the money that I earned from buy me a coffee goes into my short film so I will use that money for props catering and sound in my future short films let's talk about budget so I'm making regular short films and I'm sure some of you are wondering how is she affording this the only way I can do it is because the DP and the actors do it volunteer I could not make these without the DP and actors doing it for volunteer so I'm so appreciative of them for doing it I would love to get to a point with this channel where I'm getting sponsorship deals and I'm making a lot of AdSense so I can pay the DPs and the actors. That is my ultimate goal, but I'm just not there yet. Now, the money that I do spend goes into catering, sound, and props. So for Not You, the cost was just for catering and we only shot for one day, so it wasn't that much. In regards to equipment, we shot handheld on a Sony with this lens. We had no light, so we just used natural light. We did use practicals in the fight scene. We just put my lamp on and the stove light on behind Manny, and that was it. We had no crew. It was just me and Kid and the three actors. Wait, sorry, I'm smiling. <laughs> do you want to try? Do you want like one where it's like? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what do I say? You ghosted me. You ghosted me. I'm hurt that you're ignoring me. Uh, um, so we've gone from talking every second day to... We've gone from just... Sorry. That's sorry, right. Sorry, go from the top. Doing great, man. <laughs> yeah, Sometimes, Sometimes it's just my brain's like... Know, every every time is deja, it's deja vu for her. I've done this before. <laughs> my next short film is called Getaway and I'm so excited for you guys to watch it because it's the first time that I've made a really dreamy, beautiful, sweet short film. I really love doing horror films and romantic dramas, but I also like to push myself and try different things. So I definitely did that within this short film. We went to the beach at sunset in Melbourne. It's spring here at the moment, so it was really pretty. And I cannot wait for you guys to see Getaway. It drops on this channel on the 4th of December, 2022. So I'll see you then. Bye.